Let's talk about the muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg. So let's see what we're looking at here. So we're looking at a posterior view of the distal lower limb. So I can see, let's see, there's the calcaneus there. Um, I can see biceps femoris. There's the long head of biceps femoris there as well as semitendinosus coming down there. So biceps femoris, recall, is the lateral margin of the posterior thigh, whereas semitendinosus for the popliteal fossa is the medial margin there. And so this area here is that popliteal fossa. So we've established lateral and medial let's uh let's see what else we can um we can see well probably one of the the more obvious aspects of the uh the posterior leg here is going to be this lovely muscle so this muscle is gastro meaning belly nemius so the gastronemius muscle the c is silent is the belly of the leg. Uh, nemes is Latin for uh, the tibia or the greave, which would be tibial armor, uh, kind of akin to a, a shin guard. So gastronemius is a muscle with two bellies. There is a lateral belly and a medial belly to gastronemius. The lateral belly takes its proximal attachment to the lateral condyle of the femur the medial belly to the medial condyle of the femur and they come together along with a muscle that's deep to them to produce this very substantial calcaneal tendon. So let me erase this so we can see the calcaneal tendon also known as Achilles tendon uh, for its eponym that uh, is going to be the distal attachment for these muscles on the calcaneus. Um, the gastronemius is going to be a very powerful plantar flexion of the talocrural joint. And so this is in particularly important for propulsive locomotion. So the, the foot plantar flexes and that's what gives you really the, the, the push off there. Uh, in addition, because it also is going to cross the knee joint, it is a flexor of the knee as well. Now just deep to gastronemius is the soleus muscle which joins in the calcaneal tendon. Uh, probably a better view of the soleus muscle would be uh, in a lateral view here. So there is gastronemius, there is soleus, so the two heads of gastronemius come together with the soleus muscle to form triceps suri. So the sural region is the leg, triceps three bellies, two from gastro, one from soleus, triceps suri, uh, the three-headed muscle of the leg. Soleus muscle takes its proximal attachment from the tibia and fibula and its distal attachment along with gastronemius to the calcaneus here. Like gastronemius, it is a plantar flexion of the talocrural joint, but it's more so involved with uh, posture rather than propulsive uh, gait. Deep to these muscles, uh, there is a deep layer of, of muscles here in the, the posterior leg. Um, we have the things like uh, flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitorum longus, and tibialis posterior, which you're not responsible for in this session. So thank you for your time, and I'll speak with you in another session.